Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate the Doist with Evernote. First thing we have to do, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, todoist.com if you don't have uh, the account yet and uh, we can check for integrations or at least I can, uh, I'll show you where the integrations are. Uh, you, we have to go to the top right corner where our initials are and start with integrations. Now discover integrations. We won't be able to find uh, Evernote here yet. Uh, Todoist is providing us uh, more likely with a, like a Slack, uh, Slack integrations and uh, Microsoft ones, but not Evernote yet. So what we want to do, we want to go to the automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And we want to hit the top corner of our screen with integrations, we want to go to the bottom left part of this pop-up window and see all categories. Now we can pick from 200 and more apps. So we can uh, start to do it like this. Now we have to pick the counterpart, which will be Evernote. As you can see, it's coming soon, but uh, we won't be able to finish uh, this integration, but at least I'll show you uh, once uh, it's done, how uh, it's done. <laughs> so as you can see, you can pick from uh, popular integrations or you'll be able to uh, one, uh, once they will release it. And uh, if you won't be able to find any, we can you can create your own integration. Just remember, underneath the left uh, triggers, we want to start with, uh, with Todoist. And on the right side, underneath the actions, you want to go with Evernote like this. As you can see, we can't actually develop or create this integration. Uh, so we can try uh, Zapier. Uh, let's go to the Zapier.com. We have to create ourselves an account here. And uh, let's go to the top left corner on this uh, black button, make a Zip. Once we click there, we can uh, we can name our Zap like Todoist to Evernote and uh, start with a trigger. The trigger is Todoist like this. Trigger event. Let's pick the first one. Continue. Uh, now we uh, have to choose an account, the one that I'm using. Set up a trigger. Uh, on the, from the project, let's go with to do this tutorial, continue, and now we can test the trigger. On the second action, there should be Evernote, like this. Also, we have to uh, pick an action event, continue, and the last thing we have to do is actually to sign into Evernote, and we are basically done. So, thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.